up guys, I'm kind of stressed out because I just had difficulties with my camera. So if this first part is green, um, yeah, I'm terribly sorry. So today I will be filming a video on how I clean my hamster's cage and how I clean the double decker. So just like the whole thing, not just the bottom or the top or anything. So I'm going to flip the camera and get this started. Wait, if I can, I'm going to lift off the lid, and if I could set this up nicely, this would be great. Someone's going to have to hold this. Okay, like, I honestly don't have time right now. Okay, you know what, I'll just, let's hope I figure this out, I'll be right back. I figured it out, I'm back, um, I don't even, like, you guys can't really see the cage, and that bothers me but pretty much hopefully this is going to be like a time-lapse video so new kind of videos for days yay so i'm just going to pretty much show me removing the toys and like that's it if i can get a lower glass that'd be nice so here i go guys Stop time thing, that's just me letting me know when editing, that's what I'm going to talk. So pretty much I um, am going to take one bag full of bedding through this top cage, or half a bag because I don't put a lot of bedding up here because he doesn't really come up here to dig, he comes up here to exercise. So I'm just going to fill up this bag partially and, you know, let's get into it. new bedding with the old bedding so we are going to keep some of scent in there i found that i removed too much of the bedding or not like too much of his scent he got really stressed and you know he was getting his scent glands on everything so yeah let's continue the time. cleaning the top half to the double decker for a good month he didn't even use it so it's just this month so it's really only gonna use for a month so um this is gonna be interesting so yeah let's go to the bottom half which you guys can't really see so i'm gonna move into a lower layer hopefully if i can find one that'd be nice just yeah i'm gonna pause this and bury this okay i'm back <laughs> So I'm just gonna, once again, remove everything from the bedding and the tube and the bottom level. So here I go. So pretty much, um, I'm going to go put him in his carrier, which is what you're balancing up against, so it'll be a minute before you're back up and filming. So, see you in a minute. Okay, got us back on and running. So here's Peanut, here's his carrier, and here's some bedding.
right, you guys, so pretty much I've emptied out all the bedding that I want to keep, and then from here, I just dump it in the trash, which I'm not going to really show that, because that's going to be really hard to film. So I'll come back to you, or come back to you guys when I am finished dumping the rest of the bedding in the trash. So, see you then. First, I just wanted to say, um, I dumped this, the what's left in the top devil, into his bottom level, so he can, um, just, you know, I can just take this out in one thing. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you actually this time when I dumped out both, both cages. Sorry for that fall. Guys, so I've dumped the cage in the trash can, and I'm outside, so you can see. So, um, yeah, but, um, my fingers in the way. I've outside. I usually don't do this outside, just because I rather use my shower water than the hose water. So I've used soapy hose water and filled up my cage with it. I'm this is gonna be a horrible view, but you know, you saw what you saw. So pretty much, then I take um, the bottom and like scrub it, scrub it with sponges. So let me see if I can get an actual good angle where I could do that. So, let's see. So, I've got my hamster sponge that I only use to clean my hamster's cage with, and there's my dog. Hi, Ollie. Uh, and let's, um, meet Ollie real quick, actually. You guys have never seen Ollie. She's a pug chihuahua mix. I don't know how well you can see her right now, because I can't really see the camera, which is a big problem. <laughs> but, I... Sorry if she walks in front of the camera. Um... I'm going to face this more down so you guys can see. So, so all you have to do is take your sponge and scrub. So, guys, sorry, I got soap on my thing. So, you pretty much, you just scrub it down and then you dump it out and rinse the cage off. So, I will see you when I'm done with that. Back inside, and um, I've added some bedding, but like not all of it. So, I've added the rest of the clean bag I had and the dirty stuff. Not dirty, the cleanest stuff of the last stuff. So, I. I'm on to have that too. There was only a little left in the back, like, not even more than, like, three inches. And it's expandable too, so. That's why it's enough, so. I start the time lapse. Bag. So there's more than half of this bag left, as you can see, but it does take quite a lot of bedding to give them the appropriate amount of room, so yeah. I like it low in a part of his cage, so um, I could put the wheel and stuff so it doesn't get stuck, and um, you know, I should put the sand back down there too. And, you know, 
it looks like so much, but he's big handy. I usually don't add this much because he's not a giant digger, but maybe if I add more this time, he'll dig more. I mean, <coughs> there's about a good six inches there, but it's all fluffy when it gets packed down. And it's only half of the cage that has six inches, so yeah. <coughs> so I'm just moving it, making sure there's barely any bedding over there. There's like <coughs> an inch over there. And it just slowly goes into a mountain. So that's what's on, guys. I'll show you guys when I am almost done. So I'm just going to start adding items, and I'll face you guys down a little more. As you can see, there's a nice chunk, if I can hold my hand still, nice chunk of bedding right there. So yeah, so I'm going to put it there. Here I go. We resume the time lapse, or this never gets said. So. So I finished, I finished the bottom half, so they're currently right here for half of the cage, there's six and a half inches, and then over here there's one inch, just enough, you know, so the wheel can spin, the water bottle holds a little lower than I wanted it to be, and blah blah blah, the wheel. So I'm going to lift off this top, so you're going to see blackness for a couple seconds, or whiteness, whateverness, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Alright. Here is the cage. And I'll put some music over this. There's probably going to be a very music -y video. So there you guys go. I will see you when it's done. top part is done. So, yeah. See you then. I've just finished the cage. I'm exhausted. It's really hot. And there you go. There's a preview real quick. I'm not going to give you the whole thing because it is just a cage thing. So I'm going to film in the mirror. You can't really see me. Well, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked, give it a thumbs up. Um, just we post every Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.